Hey everyone, this week I'll continue to show you the progress of my new farm game. In the last video I showed you how far I got with implementing all the basic farming mechanics. We can already buy seeds, plant crops, then water and harvest them. We've got a basic inventory system and we also have a grid system with a limited building area. So let me show you how the game has progressed in the following weeks. The first thing I wanted to lay the groundwork for were placeable objects. Here you can see some early footage of that. Didn't really work that well initially, but eventually I figured out how to do it. Now we can properly place a chest on free tile. This system will be necessary for all types of placeable items. I will add tons of deco items in the future, stuff like benches, flower pots, lanterns and much more. Something to decorate and personalize your farm by your own taste. Alright, the logic of the chest already exists as well. You saw a glimpse of that in the last video. You can open chests by clicking on them and then interact with each object inside. I've made a click and drag functionality for that. Pretty familiar stuff that you've already seen in other sandbox or RPG games. Since in this game you are not a character with an inventory, these chests are essential. That's why you always start out with one chest outside of the building area next to your house. This is basically your inventory. From here you can access the tools, seeds and all kinds of items. This is also the place where items get sent to when you purchase them from the shop. Another thing that will make a huge difference is the nature. I programmed a system to procedurally generate the natural environment in your farm. Things like rocks, trees or grass. Here's some early footage with some prototype meshes I made. These orange tiles are occupied by nature, while the green ones are already free. One of the tasks for the player in the game is obviously to remove these obstacles to get some free space for building up your farm. Let me show you how that works right now. You open up the inventory and pick up the according tool. I'll use the shovel for digging out the weeds. For the rocks, you can use the pickaxe. As you just saw, you have to hold the mouse button and wait a couple of seconds before the obstacle gets fully removed. Otherwise, you'll be able to clear out the entire area within seconds. And we don't want that. I'm also going to add HP bars to each type of obstacle. Grass, for example, should be much easier and quicker to remove than a huge rock. I also went ahead and added some trees into the mix here. The difference with the trees, for example, is that they take up four tiles instead of just one. These will obviously have much more HP than rocks or grass, for example. Keep in mind that the visuals here are not final yet. A lot of these assets are still preliminary. I'll be gradually updating those with the final 3D models as the game progresses. What is also quite visible here is that the shadows are moving. That's because I have already implemented a day and night cycle. Days will typically start around 6 am and end at 12 pm. The most important indicator for the time of the day is obviously the brightness and the position of the sun. This, for example, is the farm during night time. By the way, there's also an actual clock now as part of the UI. The tricky part in programming this system was accurately linking the sun's positions to the time on the clock. This may sound pretty simple, but it really wasn't. For example, the clock here says 7pm, but it is already way too dark. Adjusting that and fine-tuning it took a lot of time. This way, the player can always see how much time he still has left for the day. Once the day is over, the screen turns black and you get sent into the end of day screen. So let me show you how that looks right now. Here you can see how many days have passed since you started, plus how much money you earned today. There are multiple rows here that represent each type of income. All of these are different elements of gameplay that I'm currently working on and will present in the future dev box. So, I hope you look forward to seeing the progress of the game in the future. Next up there are still a couple of new veggies that I modeled. Here's the cauliflower, the corn, the paprika, 
and a sunflower. Earlier, I mentioned the shop, but I didn't really go into more detail, so let's do that really quick. I programmed the whole functionality for it last month. Right now, the shop is accessed by this button at the top left. I already populated it with a variety of essential items and also set descriptions. The icons are still placeholders, but will soon be replaced. When you click on something here, the money gets subtracted from your funds and the items get added to your inventory chest. In the future, I'll add different types of shops that only sell specific sets of items, but that's for the next devlog. Due to my strict working schedule, the game is progressing really quickly. However, a tough part of this project is regularly creating and editing devlogs for you while programming the game at the same time. That can become quite a struggle. According to my schedule, for example, this video should have been finished a week ago but it came out now. I'll try my best to get a new devlog out for next week. I hope that's okay for you. Nevertheless, I'm still thinking of a fitting name for the game. Once I've come up with something, I'll probably start setting up the Steam page for it. Until then, I hope you continue watching my devlogs. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.